When we think of Hatteras, we think of their incredible sports fishing high performance machines, but they do some very beautiful motor yachts as well, like this, an M90 Panacea. So I'm gonna go and take you on board of this one and show you what this is all about. Let's go and have a look. It's been closed off for us, so we've got it all to ourselves. Here we go. So step on here. This is a high-low platform. You can see these steps here that drop down into steps as that lowers down. Then access up to the cockpit is here. So this is the aft deck. Very nice seating area here. Look at this woodwork as well. This is beautiful. Look at the way they've done this joint. That is stunning. And this is quite neat. They put a section in the center here which you can take out so people can get in and around without having to shuffle around if they want to or you can drop it in as it is now for dining and get the maximum space out of it. And there's a bar area over here as well. So this has got things like your ice makers and fridges and storage, that kind of thing. That's the sink underneath there, for example. And that's an ice chest full of ice. Excellent. Let's go and have a look inside. So, put my bag down there. Take my shoes off. And hit the button. There we go. Look at that. That is rather impressive, isn't it? So, what have we got? Well, there's a big social area on this side and that's facing the TV on the wall there. That's a massive television, isn't it? I know we shouldn't be surprised at these things, but that is a big TV on a boat. I love this side opening door. They've got a drop down balcony and then this opens and that completely connects you through. Also means you get plenty of air through this area because of course with that open and the back door open, it flows through very nicely. Beautiful. Okay, let's head on forward. Dining area is here. Look at these beautiful wall lights they've put on it. I love the detailing in this. That's really nice. Now, quite often on the boat of this size, you head forward again and you find the uh, master cabin, but not on this one. Check this out. How nice is that? So that's like a country kitchen style, and it's a really great focal area on the boat. Get somewhere you can come and cook, and kick back, and chat, and relax. Totally separate from the other areas on the boat. I think that's beautiful. And look at the ceiling. So it lets the sun shine through, but without overheating this area because it's tinted. Very nice indeed. Wine cooler in there. And then this seating area, as I mentioned, up ahead of the galley. These big windows all the way around as well. So you've got a great view out. You can see there's another entertaining area on the outside. We're going to have a look around that shortly. I'm very taken with that. This is a controller and it controls the whole boat. So all the systems on the boat, you'll see there's dotted around in cabins and other places, but all the systems on the boat, the lighting, ventilation, the music, everything, can be controlled from those. Double oven. You've got your hob over here, and then this is massive fridges and freezer over on this side. And there's also access then back down here. You can see there's a side door to get straight out of the boat. And in here, the day heads. Very nice. Let's head down to the lower deck and we'll see what else we can find. And that's accessed over here. And this time, instead of going straight on, we do left again and this takes us down. So we'll head forward first of all. And then right up here in the bow, there is a guest cabin. Loads of storage again in here. And drawers underneath. That's one of those controllers that I mentioned upstairs. And again, more storage on that side. And this has its own ensuite, that's in here. Separate shower stall. Love the way they finished the back of this shower stall. How nice is that? Okay, in here is the laundry facilities and more storage. And as we head back down the boat, we'll find two more guest cabins, one here. And you'll see it's got a Pullman berth across the top. So if you've got kids, for example, you can sleep three in here. Makes for a really nice den. If you're not using it, that folds up against the side out of the way. And these berths here, of course, are fixed more storage 
and an ensuite. And if we cross the boat, we'll find much the same. But on this one, the Pullman is folded away, so you can see exactly how that looks with that up against the wall. That's a nice touch. And again, on Sweden here. Very nice indeed. So, what haven't we seen? Master cabin. So we go around to the right, past this little pantry area, and there it is. Beautiful. That's a really big cabin. It's full beam, of course, as you can see. You can see the windows on the side there. And uh, if you go right the way across, this is all storage along here. I love these little shelves they put in, that kind of thing, all the knickknacks. Controller again. And they've opted for a little seat over on this side. Atlas will fit this out how you like, so if you wanted more storage there instead, or you wanted more seating on this side, they would do that for you. And if we head round to this side, Massive wardrobes all the way around here, and then the ensuite is through here. Twin sinks, very nice lighting. Toilets over on that side, and then the big rainfall shower. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Let's just pause and take this in. Look at this, the way they've done this. I love the contrasting colours. You've got the very dark wood and then this very light colour here. You can see it everywhere, all around the boat. It works brilliantly. Excellent. Let's head on up and we'll have a look at the upper deck. Now you might have noticed that there is no helm on the main deck. That's up on the upper deck. So what we're going to do is head back through here. There is a walkway up to it that way, or you can go right through to the back and up from the cockpit. I think we'll do that so we can take this all in again. Another button here. Put my shoes back on. And we'll head up the back. So up here, this is open at the back. Like so, there's a crane there, so you can put a tender up here if you want to, or jet skis or whatever. And there's a doorway just here. Now this is quite clever because this is actually the flybridge, but they've enclosed it with all these canopy sections that go all the way around. Now you can take those all out if you want to. If you want this open, we can have it as is now, which means you can air condition it and protect it. But a big seating area up here, and then a lovely dining area on this side. And then as we head forward, this is the helm. This fellow here is a controller for these screens. So you don't have to keep reaching forward to them. You can just control it all from there. And this is the system that's one of those iPads. I'm not going to play with it because I don't know exactly what it does, but, uh, but that is the controller system that I mentioned to you. It's called Hatcon, and as I say, it configures the entire boat. Throttles are here. You've got joystick control on here. These are your ship-to-shore radios. And thrusters over on this side. And then there's a great seating area up alongside the helm just there. And the view out of the front. What a great area that is. Very, very nice. Let's head on back and we'll take a turn around the decks. So we're back out through here. Let's have a quick look in this one, shall we? Ah, barbecue. This is an owner's boat. That's why you can see it's had a little bit of use. This is not a brand new one. This is somebody's actual boat. That's why I'm not going into too many cupboards, actually. But uh, there's a couple I'm going to have a look in. But uh, we'll keep it fairly low key. Let's go have a look around the outside. So this takes us forward. There's a side door there for boarding alongside. And this is this balcony that I mentioned with this big doorway out from that saloon area. And look how deep these bulwarks are as you walk around. It's a real little ship feel with these up high, the overhang all the way around. That feels great. Really makes you feel like you're on a super yacht. Let's come right up to the front. And then these steps here take us up to the bow area. Very nice sunbathing in front of that. And then this is the very front of the boat. 
there she is that's the window from that kitchen diner area that looks out across here and the helm is right up there on the top and the other thing that you can see here is that big window above that kitchen diner is up in the roof just there let's head on back down here now the other thing we haven't seen is the engine space and the crew area so we'll go and check that out next and that will then have given us i think a pretty complete tour of this fine ship and it really is a fine ship i'm rather taken with this so for this we'll head over here there's another access from the transom as well but we'll take this route in and we'll find it down here so what we have down here is a small mess area for the crew and they've got their own cooking facilities and the fridges are here as well and there's a small seating area this is that hatcon panel repeated again there's tv in here as you can see and these are the circuit breakers for the boat very nicely laid out so from here you control where the ac comes from whether it's from shore power whether it's from generator that kind of thing if we head back here that's the access from the transom so that's another way into this area from the back of the boat and then this is the captain's cabin very decent size I'd be very pleased if the master bedroom on my boat was that big sadly it isn't and he has an ensuite like so with a separate shower stall and then on the other side there is another cabin and that is for the crew just there and also in here is laundry equipment and then there's another heads in here but it's locked so maybe there's somebody in there i'll go this way instead and be very grateful they locked it engines look at this this is a proper engine room isn't it big well lit masses of space masses of headroom look at this this is proper isn't it And then this is again more circuit breakers, wiring, the master vault, battery systems, air conditioning over on that side. And these engines, they're CAT C32A certs, they are 1,900 horsepower each. The only thing I don't know is performance and range figures, I haven't managed to find that out yet. So what I'll do is I'll put that in the details for you so you can see what that is. Water maker up above and big generators here and here. These V-shaped things, they go on the bathing platform so you can put your jet ski on there or your tender or whatever it is you want to lift on the bathing platform big gearboxes in the back of the engine and shaft drive you can just see the blue bit going back down through there you can see it a little bit better on this side actually that's the shaft just there but that is an incredibly get atable engine space brilliant okay let's head back out of here we'll head back up on top again Close that over. And head back up here. So there you go. The Miami Boat Show is just swinging into action. I came in early and managed to get around this boat before it opened. And that, I think, has given us a pretty good comprehensive tour of it. I hope you enjoyed that. It's been great to show it to you and uh, we will look forward to catching you on the next one. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We've got lots more coming. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.